people of Boxstorm, in this video we will talk about controlling your inventory control, which you need to take charge of and then manage with some supervision. I think you get it. In a previous video we covered how to add items, which is different than adding inventory. Adding an item is like setting up the nursery, and adding inventory is like putting the kid in the crib. If you're confused as to how the baby gets there in the first place, go ask your mother. So we are going to add inventory for an item that we have previously created, this hybrid mountain bike. I will click on it and right here is where you can add inventory. At the moment you can see that we show zero on hand, zero purchase orders, and zero sales orders. Plus we show zero cost as we have not yet added inventory to this item. It's been a rough month around here, geez. Quick reminder about cost. Cost is always calculated at the time you add inventory into Boxstorm. Okay, we're going to click add and then choose the location we want to add it to. If you don't know about setting up locations, we have a video for that, go check it out. I have a designated spot in my warehouse for this inventory, which is aisle B, so that is where I'm going to add it in my box storm. Our current quantity shows a zero, which makes sense because I have not yet added inventory for this item. But later as you add inventory for your items, any quantities will be shown right here. In the quantity window, we enter the number we are adding and then choose our UOM or unit of measure. Now this is important. If you have different units of measure created, like a pair or a case, choosing the incorrect unit of measure will mess up your counts. I have 10 hybrid mountain bikes I want to add, so I enter 10 and select each, because if I select pair, then I'm telling Boxstorm I have 20, which is a lie, and now I have to go to the bad place. We make it 10 eaches, and now we add the cost. Remember, cost is what the item or part costs you, costs your business, not the price. Price is what you charge the customer for the item. I'm entering a cost of $75, which is per each. Let's say that in a month I order more hybrid mountain bikes and my supplier now charges $85. My average cost for the item will increase and this number will be reflected in Boxstorm. Just a cool little feature to monitor average costs as you do your business. You'll notice the last window in the Add Inventory pop-up is Notes. This is where you can leave notes for chat about how he entered the wrong inventory counts or he didn't cycle by expiration date and so on. Freaking Chad. Hit finish and boom, we've added some inventory. So easy anyone but Chad could do it. But what else can we do with our inventory? Let's click on inventory again for this item, check the box for hybrid mountain bike, and now we have some options up above. We can add, which we have already done. We can remove inventory, which can be used for scrapping damaged items or assets while still keeping proper counts in our QuickBooks. We can perform a cycle count after we've performed a manual count of items and need to make any adjustments to make sure that Chad didn't borrow anything again. And we can move items, like if we want to move the location of an item from aisle B to aisle C or whatever. Again, accurate item control saves a lot of time. This is the basic lay of the land for how we want to use Boxstorm. Lots of utility, lots of options for how you can use it in your business. And the best part? All of these functions are part of Boxstorm Forever Free. If you have any more questions, make sure to check out our other training videos. And if you have any more questions about baby making, well, be careful what you Google. 